So we're back. Day number four, or session number four for preseason thunder. As we get set, this is we're under the lights once again. I want to get these things done quick because I got something big to announce. Well, not that big actually. But Ryan Blaney out there first. The testing session has been shortened to 20 to 15 minutes for the last two. Might be shorter for the lot for the fifth day. Here's Casey Mears, Jimmy Johnson, Richardson, DJ Kennington. Now the same for the last um, session, except we got the 98 out there. So, and I still haven't fixed the 99. Let's see, we get the 98. There he is, 98. Cole Witt. Swap to a Chevy. So Blaney out there all alone. No help, no draft, nothing. So of course he'll be scored first on the board. Might catch some guys over here on the backstretch. Thirty-three now up on the board. Forty-eight, Jimmy Johnson. And look at that right there. Four cars already paired up. Three Fords, one Toyota. Pair of teammates. And I thought that was Kurt Busch for a second, but that's actually Ben Rhodes in the forty-four. But they've already paired up. They'll probably top off the board right away when they come around the next time. Well, they're separated now, they're separated. At least one of these guys will be on top. Blaney still 49.025. Still up top. Yeah, now he lost it to Casey Kane. 48.775 Rhodes now to the bottom he'll push Kyle Busch two RCR cars now out in the way well they have to check up there that's screwed up their lap big time Danica Kirkpatrick has now taken over the lead Stenhouse Jr. on the outside line getting pretty tight Someone wrecked. Oh, here we go. Saved it. Again, Austin Dillon. Almost caused another one. Someone wrecked, or did someone just get into the grass? Well, look at this line right here. Denny Hamlin in the 11. Oh, right here. Did not notice. Here we go with Kevin Harvick, who was first in the fourth. No, not the fourth. We are at the fourth. The third session. Now Larson, Patrick back to the front. The guys are in line. Someone's got to make it up. Yep, there you go. Denny Hamlin, AJ Allmendinger, Kevin Harvick. One, two, three. All in the same pack. Hamlin does have a teammate, Daniel Suarez, on the number 19. He's currently 15 as he drops to the inside. He'll go with AJ Allmendinger. Hamlin, Suarez, outside, inside. Man, they're all over the place. They're trying to find who to draft with. Ty Dillon in the 13. They got the basketball shop car right behind. Je uh, no, I was going to say Jeff Burton. Well, Jeff Burton's in the 32. 23, Joey Gase, who, had that, who hit Dale Earnhardt Jr., who flew right into the fence. Hoping that won't happen again. Of course, they have to send the old car back to the shop. And it looks like Jamie McMurray, who had problems on the first day, is now top up. He's now first. He's in a very small pack. Not even a pack. Just a very small, mini, little group. But he's still the fastest. All you need is just one car to draft with, and you're okay. Most of the time. 
Clark. No, sometimes. Casey Kane also part of this. He's 10th. DJ Kennington is 8th. So all three of these guys are in the top 10 as they're closing in on Richardson, who's 35th. Now Matt Kenson has taken it. Gibbs cars are fast. Annika Patrick second. Uh, Wallace Jr. third. They're all part of the pack as well. Austin Dillon, Kyle Bush, Jamie Mack, Denny Allen, AJ Allmendinger, Martin Truex Jr., and Trevor Bain is your current top 10. And look, oh! The 33 Casey Mears on the apron, and for some reason, I don't know why those guys had to check up for a second. That there was a wreck, like, on the turn of the stop car, it was in right between. But there wasn't. So look at the scare right there. Here's another pack, not too far back from the other five car pack right here. Kurt Busch leading this one. You've got Eric Jones, Reed Sorensen, Brendan Gunn, and Regan Smith right behind. These three are running single file. Those two are still side by side. Now they've got the clear. See if these fives can catch up to those guys. Less than ten minutes to go here. Kenson is still the leader of this testing session. Caught up with Chase Elliott, who's 41st, all the way at the back. They just get out there? Probably. Well, it's better to be behind when you get that draft. Pushing? Not. Well, I don't think pushing. It helps the pusher, not the pushy. Helps him move up, but doesn't get him a fast lap time. Makes it look bad. Well, the 99 will have to pull out for some air as Martin Truex Jr. Now right behind, well, I think he's going to cut. Oh, trouble! We got trouble. 10, 2, 20, 83. Hang on to it, hang on to it. Hang on to it. He yeah, hung on to it. Well, a lot of drivers on to check up Smith to the apron. Oh, careful, a little contact. Danica Petro, oh, more trouble at the back. AJ Allmendinger and, oh, Jeb, uh... Joey Gase. Damn, why do you keep seeing Jeb Burn for? And AJ gets into the wall. So we got two wrecks. Two wrecks in the same two corners. And what a 98 got a little loose right there. This one spilled some oil. That Kenson is still the fastest. These guys are still running top speed. See where they place? Whoa! 2631, almost. Almost. Take a look at the big names. Uh, Jimmy Johnson, Dale Earnhardt Jr., 27, 28, Kirk Busch, 30th, Casey Kane, 22nd, Menard, 25th, Boyer, 26, Newman, Eric Alaroma, a lot of guys, Eric Jones, Mears is now last now. I go by Casey Kane here. See if anyone gets into the top ten here. Nope. Not a single one. Wait, the one car did. I think he was already there, was he? I don't think so. But he's eighth now. There's Johnson, there's Cole Witt. Johnson had a strong car running with only about two cars, and now he's drag racing with Cole Witt. Trying to get by him. Can't do it. Can't quite do it. That's 17, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. He's fifth. Looks like he just got off pit road. He's running 160, 178, 79. And looks like Chris Busher has problems as he is trying to reverse. He's in the grass and he comes to a complete stop. And wrote Ryan Newman to the apron. Looks like he almost got taken out again. These guys are closing in on Johnson and Cole Witt. Should extend the pack, of course, as long as they don't pit. As they're also closing in on Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Brad Keselowski coming out, was involved in that wreck. Johnson with the run to the inside. He'll shoot the middle. 
He's got Colwood clear. He'll cut to the bottom, put the block on him. Put that car up front. Is it the 83? No, 47. He's 11th right now. Here goes Witt to the inside. He wants to be ahead of Jimmy Johnson. Try to slow his lap time down. And there's smoke. It looks like we got ourselves a third wreck. And oh, here it is. Ty Dillon. Brendan gone. And once again, Brem Rose. That's the third car already. He already wrecked twice. Now he's wrecked the third time. There's Matt DeBenedetto. And Danica Patrick also involved. That's the second car for her tonight. She was involved in that other wreck. And yeah, involved in this one as well, it looks like. So three wrecks. And oh, the 23, Joey Gase. That's another one for him. You probably can't believe it. Third car, Ben Rhodes as well. Now another card. Three cars for both of them. Junior's coming out. He's 29. This Ken's in, he's coming out as well. DJ Kennington pushing the five car really hard. We've got, once again, we've got three wrecks. Here goes Witt again. 38th. Johnson, 30, 28th. Almendinger, 11th. Stenhouse Jr., still 5th. Fast forward right here. There's gone. Looks like he probably can't make it back to pit road. He's close though. AJ with the move. Stenhouse with the block. At the line. Any change for these four? Well, let's see. 12th, 29th, 30th. And they got more cars coming. Not a lot of time left. Here's Jeff Burton. He's sixth actually, and he wrecked. So still good. Chris Busher, 40th. He's only done eight laps. Yeah, problems on pit road too. Ryan Blaney was the first car out there, and he's 36th. Don't think he's pit once. I think I don't know. I could be wrong. Trevor Bain behind him in the sixth car. A little alliance going on right there as he pushes him. No way. That's uh, Penske and thing and uh, Wood Brothers, not Roush. But they're still both forts. So yeah, big push. Look at this. And look at that, DJ Kennington, an underdog, a big underdog, has top up the board. He's right there. No, he's going to wreck Chris Busher. He just took it away from Matt Kenseth and also got by Casey Kane. A lot of cars he got by. He is now the fastest. The only Canadian right here. That's a one race deal ride too, so. Incredible lap. 46.549. I think it's easy because you got all you gotta do is draft, 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 and eventually you know you just don't know what's going on. Oh, Eric Jones, careful! Whoa, Ryan Newman again. He's gonna slide back up. Oh, he's gonna take out a few, and that takes. They also got DJ Kennington. Uh, Kozlowski got caught up in that big wreck. This is gonna be big. Oh, this is definitely gonna be big. Get by, get by. Oh, that's the fourth car now. Oh, they're still wrecking. Chase Elliott. Oh, Matt Kenton hard. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Throw out the red. Throw out the red. Throw out the red. Whoa, Kerr. Whoa, Junior. Junior. Not again. Oh, at least it ended really. It didn't. It was short. It wasn't constant. And Joey Case just got out a brand new race car. And that's the fourth car. He probably has the worst luck out of everyone. That's the fourth car, and he's 20th. Not bad for a one race deal ride. Not much has been put in. Well, I wouldn't say that, maybe. Some people will say, because uh, it's only one race. But it's the Daytona 500. You know, it's the Daytona 500. You know. Uh, Alright, yeah, I already said I know. Oh, Clint Boyer, Kyle Larson, he's going to spin him out. What a save by Kyle Larson. What a save. Got some dirt track moves right there. Pulled off a of Kyle Busch, who is right there behind Martin Truex Jr. 
Incredible. Another big wreck. Only day two so far, and looks like we got a fifth wreck because that one spun off turn four. It's gonna be hard, hard to keep track of. We need to find these things first and then record them. And my chair is squeaking like hell. A lot of cars are taken out. We're under standby. It'll be a cool down this time. Look at this. Will they wreck once more? Oh, Burns gonna bail. He's gonna bail. He knows. He knows it's coming. So he bails. Bails. Bail. 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 Well, actually, now they're calmed down a bit more because they know the session is over. Just stop. Don't need to. I mean, can't make it around one more time. No use. Save those tires. Save the gas. Get ready for the next session, and there it is. Okay, DJ Kangden, underdog, has topped up the board. 46.549. Casey Kane, Matt Kangden, Danica Patrick. AJ Almeninger, Ryan Reed, Cole Witt, Austin Dillon, Ricky Sandhouse Jr., and Jeb Burton is your top 10. Here is the rest. 41 cars participated in this session. Still, there's a lot more cars that have not showed up. Might show up in day 5, the last one. So, time to review all the wrecks. So, here's the wreck. A very unexpected wreck. Did not expect them. Look at this. Wow. Three car tandem. Kenzo was out of line here, and that's what caused it. They gotta be straight. They gotta be straight. They can't push like that. And then this happens. This could have been easily avoided. Kozlowski, Patrick, Kenzinth, Matt DeBenedetto. Yeah, Kenzinth, uh, not Kenzinth, um, Brad Kozlowski, Danica Patrick hit the wall pretty hard. With that going on, um, of course we got a couple of drivers checking up. As we fast forward here. Take a look at them. They're scrambling everywhere. Everywhere they go. And, and then look at this. Jeb Burton. He got right into AJ Almanair, who slowed down just a little bit. He almost took out Ty Dillon. He ends up taking AJ Almaninger. Almanair comes back and slams into him. Spins him out. Don't know if that was deliberate. Probably wasn't because he's trying to get that car under control. So there's the first wreck. See the seven go through the grass. Not gonna remember the third one. So here's the third one we saw coming out of the trial. Well, Eric Jones in a 77. Everything seems all right, and there he goes. Something fails. Car smokes. Of course, he's way beyond pit road. He tries to cut down with th three cars coming, and Danica Patrick runs into the back, and Joey Gase gets into him. Brendan gone. Ty Dillon. Matt De Benedetto. That is the third wreck right there. Don't know what happened to Jones. These two go all the way up. Barely avoided it. But then here comes Ben Rhodes. We saw Ben Rhodes. Here he comes. He's right there behind the six. For some reason pulls to the inside and then he loses it. And gets into the 75 of Brendan Gunn. And Rhodes goes around. Heavy damage for both guys. And Tidling gave him another shot right there. So there's a third wreck. I'll take a look at the fourth. This should be the fourth. And I believe the last one was a spin off of five. Not five. Four. Let's take a look here. Uh, Brad Keselowski. Well, it looks like a new one slid up and he cut back down. And Keselowski's nose just stuck right in. He comes back up to the racetrack. Imagine this coming to the Daytona 500. You know, I've always, you know, wanted that crazy, you know, 1976 where, you know, leaders are going crazy and then they cause a wreck and people are like slipping and sliding and all, all that crazy stuff. Pushing and hard and shoving, all that stuff. And Richardson, oh, Jamie Mack gone to Keselowski. Richardson gone to two cars. Spectre cam should be much better. There comes Gaze. He got by Kane. Got by Newman. 
Got by McMurray, but not Keslowski. That was the fourth car he wrecked. And we're done. Chase Elliott. Got by McMurray. Gets on the Keslowski driver's side. No one flipped, by the way. I was surprised no one flipped. And then Matt Kenseth. Man, what a hit. Yeah, that's one way to get your payback. Just run into your rival head on at 190 miles an hour. Just do that. Sure, like, why not? Take a look at that. I think his car got airborne before he hit the two. Watch. There's a 24. Yeah, his car did get airborne before hitting the two. When he hit the two, that was just like a like a big boost. Take a look. It's right on board. 24. You can see the air. See the thing catches air. Okay, that's a bad angle. Left cam. We don't usually we usually don't use this. I don't think you can see much here either. Unless maybe No. Can't. Alright. Well you already saw it, so. I think the last one should be the spin off of four. Take a look at that, see who spun out. And actually look at that. Brendan Gunn had to stop. He pretty much had to stop and wait for Chase Elliott to go by. Like you just can't go through there. Well, he's going one mile an hour. Now he stops. Goes back a mile. Stops. Mile. Stops. Okay, there he goes. I'm looking at Matt Kenseth right there. If he did not... Alright, I accidentally pressed the Windows key and cut myself off. So Kevin Harvick, he was the last one who was being pushed by Eric Alaroma and got turned. Now that's about it, he just spun him out. Coming off turn four. Roof flaps deploy. Just goes for a long slide. And that's about it. So day four is complete. We'll complete our last day under the sun. Day five. And it'll be a much shorter session too. I don't think anything else happened. No, nothing. Okay, day four is complete.